Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'll be discussing the international friendly between the U.S. women's national team and Iceland. The U.S. will be meeting Iceland for two friendlies. This is game one. Game two will be Sunday, October 27th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so Iceland is going to be the first team the U.S. faces since returning from the Olympics after winning gold. It's not the first time the U.S. has met Iceland. These two have met back in the 2022 She Believes Cup, where the U.S. would defeat Iceland 5-0. Honestly, I'm not expecting the U.S. to struggle too much against Iceland. They may meet some, re um, some resistance defensively, though. Earlier this year, I do remember Iceland was able to hold off Germany's attack in Euro qualification, and they even managed to beat Germany 3-0. What actually hurt Germany in that game was they couldn't connect and finish their chances. I don't see the U.S. having this problem, since Emma Hayes was able to foster strong chemistry in the attack during the Olympics. The U.S. will have no problem maintaining control and possession, and they will be able to create multiple chances. The connection, support, and finishing in the box should be okay as well. <laughs> However, the players may need to get readjusted since this is the first time the team is getting back together since the Olympics, but they should be able to sort themselves out for the most part. If not in this game, then in game two. Something the U.S. may need to watch out for is Iceland's counterattack and transitions. This is where the U.S. needs to um, retain control and make recoveries, both in the midfield and the back line. The U.S. should be okay in this area because of <laughs> Sam Coffey. Um, they could face some challenge and pressure in the defense, but it shouldn't be anything the U.S. can't handle. So the players I'm looking forward to in these games would probably be Jaden Shaw, Sam Coffey, and Ashley Sanchez. I, I really like Coffey's performance in the Olympics, so she'll likely do well in these games too. Um, Shaw was also called up to the Olympics, but got no playtime. So yeah, I think these games would be good for her too. I could also throw Emily Sams into that as well. I would like to see her. Oh, and also Ava Gaetino. I would like to see them get minutes as well. Yeah, there's just a lot of players I would like to see in these games. <laughs> And of course, Ashley Sanchez. Um, like I said when I was discussing the roster, I want to see how Hayes uses her and fits her into the midfield. Playing her alongside Coffee and Haran could be good, or going Sanchez, Lavelle, and Coffee could work as well. Or we could do something totally different besides playing with just three in the midfield, but um, yeah, that's just me. Um, that all being said, let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup. We have Alyssa Nair in the goal. For defenders, Naomi Germa, Jenna Neiswanger, Emily Sonnet, and Emily Fox. For midfielders, Sam Coffey, Rose Lavelle, and Lindsay Haran. For forwards, Lynn Williams, Alyssa Thompson, and Mal Swanson. And here are the substitutes as well. If you're listening to the podcast version on Babbel, the subs are Ashley Sanchez, Corbin Albert, Haley Mace, Sophia Smith, Emily Sams, Olivia Moultrie, Jaden Shaw, Casey Murphy, Hal Hirschfeld, Casey Kruger, Yasmin Ryan, and Emma Sears. Overall, the lineup looks pretty good to me. As I said before, I love Coffee in the U.S. midfield. She did well in the Olympics, and I'm confident that she'll be able to provide that same support and stability for this game. This may allow for Haran to get forward like she usually does, but she and the rest of the team need to be careful when it comes to turnovers, I'm mainly looking at Haran for that, and Iceland in transition. I know how dangerous Svendish Jan's here can be in transition. Still, I think the U.S. will do okay when it comes to recoveries. I mean, <laughs> Fox and Germa are starting, and of course, Coffee. so we're probably safe in that area. I'm also looking forward to Thompson in the attack with Mal and Williams, and I'm interested to see how she connects with them, as well as Lavelle and Haran. That being said, let's get into the first half. All right, so the first half, we are off. One minute, Iceland foul, U.S. ball. Mal touch in, taken away. Iceland counter, U.S. collects. Back to Nair. Two minutes, U.S. long ball. Mal collects, taken away. Lavelle up to Mal, Mal in for Haran, Haran touch, foul, or offside, Iceland ball. Three minutes, Jan start here in the box. Probably the last player you would want to see in the box. 
U.S. slow to get it out, sent back in, cleared. Uh, could be cleaner there defensively, but still fine. <laughs> Four minutes, Iceland cross goes wide. Five minutes, U.S. turnover, Iceland sends it in, headed away. Six minutes, Iceland cross, near collects. Thompson cross, no one there, goes wide. U.S. collects though. Are you guys like afraid to cross it? Seven minutes, Nyswanger sends it in, defended away. Mal fouled, shoved, U.S. free kick outside the box. Short sent in, headed away. Germa collects, Germa attempts, saved. I mean, may as well. <laughs> Nine minutes, Haran cross, defended away. Ten minutes, Mal up to Haran, Haran touch to no one. Eleven minutes, coffee fouled after some bullying. U.S. free kick taken quickly, Lavelle cross, nothing from it, defended away. Thompson attempt goes over. 13 minutes, mouth fouled, stepped on, slash tripped, U.S. ball. Um, Swanson touches it up. No one goes for it, not on the same page. Williams was arriving late, but kicked away. 14 minutes, Lavelle cross, kicked away and cleared. There was support in the box, though. <laughs> uh, 15 minutes, good touch, ball up to Lavelle, Lavelle fouled. U.S. free kick, Lavelle sends it in, Williams touch goes wide. 60 minutes, ball to the U.S. side, Nair collects. Long ball up to Haran, kick back to the keeper, cleared. I mean, you can't really expect Haran to chase after that. <laughs> uh, 17 minutes, Haran cross, keeper collects. 19 minutes, Lavelle through ball goes out, not on the same page. Iceland long ball, U.S. collects. 20th minute, Iceland attempt, Nair collects, but drops it out of play. 21 minutes, Iceland corner kick, Iceland attempt, blocked or off the post, cleared. 22 minutes, Jan start here throw in, headed around, Nair collects. 23 minutes, coffee touch back to Williams. Williams touch goes out. Lavelle cross mal attempt goes over. 24 minutes, Williams attempt from the wing goes over. 25 minutes, Iceland long ball, Nair collects. Haran sends it up, headed away. 26 minutes, U.S. back line facing some pressure. U.S. recovers, Nyswanger fouled, U.S. ball. Like, how many touches do you guys need before you cross it in? 29 minutes, Iceland foul, U.S. ball. Coffee up to Mal, not on the same page, too much behind it. 31 minutes, Mal touch back in for Williams, kicked away. No corner kick. Haran and Williams are surprised by that, but the ref probably thought it came off Williams last. 32 minutes, Thompson cross, no one there, goes wide. You guys do know you have to be in front of goal to score, right? Not always, but still. Uh, nice swung across, defended away. 34 minutes, ball behind the U.S. back line. Iceland attempt, Nair saves. You still can't let your guard down defensively around Iceland. Germany learned that the hard way. <laughs> this also kind of feels like the Germany-Iceland match earlier this year. The U.S., like Germany, is creating chances, but they're just not connecting in the box. 37 minutes, Malcross kicked away. Iceland... Thought it came off Williams less, but the ref didn't see it that way. <laughs> uh, U.S. corner kick kicked away. U.S. collect sends it back in, defended away. 38 minutes, Thompson switches sides, now attacking on the left wing. Thompson in the box, Thompson attempts, scores. U.S. 1-0. Great goal by Thompson. 40th minute, Iceland long ball, Nyswanger chasing it down. Trips Jonstad here as she puts it out, no foul. Iceland corner kick, Nair collects. 41 minutes, Haran fouled, U.S. ball taken quickly, crossed in, defended away. 42 minutes, Iceland counter, Jan Statier making a run. Jan Statier attempt goes out. 43 minutes, Williams cross kicked away. 44 minutes, Haran touch in, cleared. Nyswanger threw ball to Coffee. Coffee attempt blocked. 45 minutes, Fox cross defended away. Mal fouled outside the box. U.S. free kick, Haran attempt from the free kick goes just wide. Not by much, actually. <laughs> Uh, then whistle blown, first half ends, U.S. 1-0. All right, so not a bad first half. As expected, the U.S. had the most control and possession and were on the attack. They need to be quicker with their touches, crosses, and services. How can the team create these plays in fewer touches? That was the one question I found myself asking early on in this first half. Besides that, the pace in the attack to get forward was still good. I said earlier that this reminds me of Germany's match against Iceland where Germany created all these plays and chances but couldn't connect in the box. I noticed the US was having trouble connecting in the box, either players weren't on the same page or just not getting on the end of services and touches. So yeah, connection in the box needs to be better. 
So despite not having much possession, Iceland proved to still be dangerous on the counter. Svendis Jonstad here was able to make a few runs, and Iceland had two dangerous chances on goal. The U.S. needs to watch out for long balls, passes, and through balls behind the back line, as well as Iceland's runners. Besides that, the U.S. is still doing well. They're managing the game just fine, but again, the connection in the box needs to be better. That being said, let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. 45 minutes, Iceland plays it up, kicked away by Sonnet. 46 minutes, ball in the U.S. box, Sonnet collects. 47 minutes, Sonic gives it away. Coffee and Fox get it back. Fox under pressure. Fox fouls. I can't believe that was a foul. <laughs> uh, 48 minutes, Iceland free kick. Iceland header. Iceland touch goes over. So the U.S. defense has me questioning because that was the third dangerous chance Iceland has had in the U.S. box. 49 minutes, Coffee fouled. U.S. ball. U.S. outside the Iceland box. Defended away. It's like in the same spot, too. They're struggling to break through centrally. I mean, if you're going to draw them towards you centrally, then at least have players up the wings that you can pass to. 50th minute, Mal recovers and makes a run up to Williams. Williams in the box, kicked away. 51 minutes, U.S. corner kicks short, nothing from it. Thompson collects up to Mal, goes out. 53 minutes, Haran just gave that away. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that pass was. 54 minutes, good defending by Coffee and Fox. 55 minutes, Iceland corner kick, Iceland header, Iceland foul in the box. Iceland attempt from outside, scores. Iceland, 1-1. And that wasn't even from a counter. That was just Iceland's attack and pressure. <laughs> uh, 58 minutes, Iceland long ball, Germa recovers, Germa under pressure. 59 minutes, Coffee gives it away in the midfield, Iceland back in possession. Long ball to the U.S. box, Nair off her line to collect. 60th minute, Lavelle fouled, U.S. ball. Iceland on the attack, Thompson rushing back to get it back. <laughs> uh, really good by Thompson. 61 minutes, U.S. through ball, Williams cross, Mal can't connect, goes wide. 62 minutes, Mal in the box with the ball, offside. 63 minutes, Haran fouled, U.S. ball. Mal in for Lavelle, Lavelle cross blocked. 64 minutes, U.S. corner kick goes wide, nothing from it. I mean, that was just poor. <laughs> Uh, Nyswanga sends it back in, goes out. 65 minutes, U.S. substitutions. Kruger, Ryan, and Shaw in. Haran, Fox, and Mal out. 66 minutes, Iceland on the attack. More pressure from Iceland in the midfield. Iceland offside, though. 68 minutes, Iceland plays it up the wing, goes out. 69 minutes, Williams plays it in, but puts it out. <laughs> uh, 70th minute, Ryan cross, Williams misses it, goes wide. 71 minutes, Kruger in for Thompson, goes out. U.S. substitutions, Williams and Coffey out, Smith and Hirschfeld in. 73 minutes, Ryan overlap up for Kruger, goes out. 74 minutes, Smith fouled, U.S. ball. 75 minutes, Ryan in the box, cross to Shaw, taken away, cleared. Yeah, just a little too slow on the buildup. Lavelle fouls after a turnover, Iceland ball. 77 minutes, ball up to Smith, Smith fouls a defender, and Ryan fouled the keeper. Iceland keeper down, trainers out to check on her. Okay, so how did the U.S. get worse in the second half? The first half was fine, but after Iceland scored, it kind of just went downhill. All right, so the keeper's okay. 79 minutes, game starts up again. 81 minutes, Smith fouled, grab, U.S. ball. Kruger up to Shaw, headed away. 82 minutes, Smith cross, kicked away. Nyswanger cross, headed away. Smith cross her attempt, saved. 83 minutes, Ryan attempt from D, saved. 84 minutes, Kruger cross to Shaw. Shaw scores between the legs of the keeper. U.S. 2-1. Yeah, that was a crazy goal by Shaw. Like, she got it right between the legs of the keeper as she was closing in on her. 86 minutes, ball down the U.S. left wing. Nyswanger clears. 87 minutes, Thompson back to Smith. Smith attempt blocked. Smith gets it back. <laughs> Smith attempt from outside, scores. U.S. 3-1. 89 minutes, Iceland long ball. Kruger back to Nair. 90th minute, U.S. corner kick short. Lavelle touch in, blocked. They need to do better with these corners. So we have four minutes of added time. 91 minutes, Smith fouled, grabbed. 92 minutes, U.S. free kick outside the box. Lavelle sends it in. Smith touch goes out. Iceland cross cleared. 93 minutes, ball up to Shaw, kicked away. 
94 minutes, whistle blown, second half ends, US wins, 3-1. All right, so the second half was a bit weird. <laughs> it appeared as though the US was playing worse in the second half, especially after Iceland tied it up. The US was still getting forward and creating chances, but the buildup just looked too slow at times. And again, the US still weren't connecting in the box. They were trying to attack more centrally, like in the first half, but were having a hard time breaking through Iceland's defense. On top of that, we saw more pressure from Iceland in the midfield. Iceland was forcing turnovers and got their attack forward a few times. They were pretty dangerous in front of goal, too. Iceland's counterpress, transitions, and passes behind the back line will likely be noted by Hayes leading up to Game 2. But then, late, late into the second half, it was like the U.S. attack finally sorted themselves out. We got two really good goals from Shaw and Smith. I really like Shaw's nutmeg goal. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that went right through the legs of the goalkeeper as she was closing in. Um, next to Thompson, that was probably my favorite goal. Overall, it was a good win for the U.S. The connection in the box needs to be better. Um, that was something they struggled with throughout this game. But honestly, I'm not too concerned like right now. I think that will improve in game two now that the U.S. knows what to expect from Iceland. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!